Okay, we are gonna be drawing a llama today. So you have your coloring sheet if you wanna do that, or you have your step-by-step -step that you can look at, um, or you can go ahead and draw it with me. So make sure that you're using um, the drawing tool that works best for you, oil pastel crown, Crayola marker, permanent marker, pencil. Just remember if you do use a Crayola marker, you cannot use any kind of watercolor um, to paint the picture because it will bleed into it. So I think I'm actually gonna use oil pastel today. Um, now you gotta remember, when you're looking at the drawing sheet, this first shape, it's not gonna be, you're not gonna draw that shape right where it's at. That's actually the top of the llama's head, so that shape is gonna start over here. So you always gotta look at the sheet and not draw where you see it on this paper, but this is um, the step-by-step -step to get the whole character of your llama. Now, when we get to adding the embellishments, I want you to um, feel free to add what I've added. But if you want to add another design um, in the little part that sits on the back or around the neck, then feel free to add your own design. So you do not have to copy what I'm doing. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with the top of the head. Now you might make sure you got a little room for the ears at the top, room for the snout, um, obviously the legs. So I come about right here. I'm gonna start with my hook, which is the top of the head. And then once you get that part done, you're gonna go to the back. Obviously don't go all the way to the end. So once you've got the end, we're gonna go back to here and we're gonna add the snout, which is just like a little bump. And then we're gonna poof out its chest and head towards where the feet are. I mean, not the feet, or the end of the fur. Um, would be not the actual legs. Kind of like a duck right now. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the end. We're gonna make a little poof ball tail. Again, poof it out. Oops, a little too much poof. Okay, I'm gonna come. I kind of want to make sure these are even. Now I have four legs, so I need to make sure. Are a little off, no big deal. But I do want to be kind of flat, a flat line at the end, because that's where we're going to draw the parallel lines off of for the legs. Okay, before we get the legs, we're going to get up here to the ears. Remember, it's like a leaf. Curve up and curve back, and then do the same. One ear's like that, Ooh, maybe a little big. Two ears a little sideways, so we don't have the full effect. Now to the legs. <clears throat> Again, coming off that straight line, it's two parallel lines and then a little foot. And all his little feet are gonna be facing the same direction to keep it simple. Two parallel lines, a little foot. Parallel lines, I wanna make sure they're all the same. I don't want one short leg. So once you've got the body, we're gonna add <clears throat> the little snout. It's like two little lines. And then part of the bridle that's on the snout. And then the eye is just an upside down U. Two little eyelashes. Again, this is where you can take on your own design if you feel like um, you have a better idea. So the part that's going on its back, it's gonna start on the straight part, curve down and around, back up to the straight part. I'm gonna stick with my original design, it's just adding stripes, like an upside down rainbow. Um, and then I'm actually gonna wait with the lines, I'm gonna use a different color for that, not the black. The part that comes on the neck, you're gonna do one curved line, that is one part. So you've got one going across the neck, and then the second one kind of diagonal down. And again, the little balls that I have um, drawn here originally, I'm gonna add it with a different color. So you have your llama. Um, go ahead and figure out what you're gonna use to add the color. I think I'm gonna use part watercolor and part uh, um, colored pencils. So let me get my watercolors. Got my water. Got a paper towel. Okay. So 
you do not have to use the same colors I am using, please feel free to um, create your own colors for your little llama. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make mine gray. And the cool thing about the oil pastel, it's just like the crown, it's not going to mix and it's gonna help keep my colors from running together. So this is where I'm going to switch over to my um, colored pencils. Something about colored pencils and watercolor together. Oh, they look, my opinion, they look good. So um, now the ears. I'm going to use pink. Okay, and now the bridal parts. Go something bright. When I saw these llamas other people had drawn it were just all bright and colorful okay so the thing on this back I'm gonna just pick two bright colors one two three four dark because like I said I'm afraid because it's it's not gonna show so here I'm just using a colored pencil to add the little pom-poms coming off that part and the tassels Um, like I said, I used watercolor for the body and the legs and then the colored pencils for all the other details. And so I hope you enjoyed drawing the llama with me. I hope you post your llamas either at HES Art Room, um, Instagram, or Facebook page, or feel free to share them over Dojo with me. All right, guys, have a great day.